What we need to do is provide opportunities for all. And that is what I said, that is what transformation is about. Transformation is not about um, uh, uh, discriminating against blacks uh, in, pre in preference to white. We believe that up to now, not all our uh, formerly disenfranchised kids are getting the opportunity. And I always say, you know, we're not doing too badly. For instance, you know, we beat Pakistan at cricket. And what are we using? We're only using 20% of resources of the country because only 20% of the people in this country are being given opportunities. Can we imagine how much better we will be if the other 80% get the same opportunities? And to me, that is a very crucial element that all sports people in this country must be given an opportunity. In the end, it does not matter whether the team is all black or whether the team is all white, whether the team is half black and half white. And the important thing is we will recognize the team because it is a result of providing opportunities for all. That is the crucial element in South African sport. It's a start and as we know, as far as South Africa is concerned, in very many areas we can say that we are still in the infancy because the shackles of apartheid to a large extent have left us, but not totally. But I believe that we're getting younger people uh, into the administrative positions, we're getting very many people who are deeply involved in coaching, but I believe in the years to come we will get there because this happened in every other country in the world. It happened, for instance, in Russia. It's happened happened in China, uh, it happened in India, in other parts in the West Indies. And we are still young and I am certain that we will not only get up to them, we will be able to challenge uh, people in Australia, the United Kingdom, Germany, the United States one day and I'm hoping it's in the near future. They have to win the game, there's no doubt about it. They've been playing together in the Africa Cup of Nations. These players accept one or two because of injuries and that the coach didn't give others a chance. This is a do or die. It's just like that game when Phil Masinga scored that crucial goal at the FNB Stadium and uh, we end our place to go and play in the World Cup. They must, they must do the same. There's no doubt. We know that and we respect our opponents, but uh, this time around we've got to trample over them like a tractor and uh, no surrender and uh, the boys must understand that they've got all our support our people are anxiously looking forward to south africa qualifying for brazil there's no way that we are going to brazil and uh, we are going to be supporting other people without our team we can and let's do it Itumelen Kune definitely deserve it i think uh, a great performer extraordinary you don't have to doubt him when you look at him and uh, you can see, even if you lose, you say we have lost, but uh, this boy, his dedication and patriotism, you can't doubt it. And I'm happy because Itumelen Kune takes his football seriously. If you look at Itumelen Kune when he first came to Kaiser Chiefs, there was no downslope. It is always going forward. Many young people can learn from him. He doesn't give up. He's got a fighting spirit. And I think if um, other clubs outside South Africa were quite interested in buying goalkeepers. Itumelen Kune would have long crossed and go and play outside the country. He's a great player, fantastic person to watch, very passionate about what he's doing. No doubt about his patriotism. Definitely the armband has gone to the right person.